Hey guys, I've done several videos on random wire antennas and and their lengths, their true lengths. There's really nothing random about it. And they range for a lot of different uh, dimensions. Um, 29, 35 and a half feet, uh, 41 feet and on up. The whole idea here is that you find a, a spot where a nine to one un, -un will basically make it tunable multiband. Also, the thing about these lengths are they're not resonant on the frequencies you want to use or any of their multiples, the halves and the holes and, and that such. There's a lot of great information out there. Anyway, there's one I've never made, especially as a vertical, and it's a 29 feet straight up vertical antenna and uh, with a nine to one un, -un. I'm going to do that today. You know, I've seen some people that, that have done this and had some success, so I want to try it myself. So what I've got today is I got some 22 gauge wire that I'm going to use, tape measure, my LDG nine to one un, -un wire strippers, and my 10 meter DX Commander pole. So I'm gonna to put together a 29 foot vertical, and let's see how this thing works. Let's get on the air here. I'm in the harbor. This is Portsmouth, Virginia, my home. I live right across the street over there. So this is my favorite spot to uh, go out and play with antennas. I'm blessed to live right here. But anyway, let's put this thing up and uh, see if we can make some uh, contacts. I'll, I'll give you a rundown of how I did it after I get the antenna up. Stick around. Okay, here's the setup. That's actually the Carnival Magic across the harbor there. It sails out of here every weekend in Norfolk, Virginia. Um, definitely gonna use the Zygu G90 for 20 watts. Got 50 foot of coax. This is my new favorite thing, guys. This is the Chameleon coax with the built-in choke. And uh, contrary to what people say about Chameleon and their prices, that whole setup's 50 bucks, man. That is my kind of my new favorite thing right now. Uh, LDG 9 to 1. And with that, I have 17 foot of counterpoise. Can't see it because it's kind of below the seawall there, but I have it on a pool noodle. I have a pool noodle with some uh, zip ties with it attached to it. Listen, you don't have to do it this way. I do it this way to get the benefit of the salt water. Put a good ground plane underneath it, four wires, like five meters six seven whatever kind of ground plate the magic carpet with screen whatever you want to use just get a you got to have something underneath it to counter it i'm going with 17 foot on this all right so on the positive side of that is the 22 gauge wire and as you can see about every uh i don't know a couple meters six feet or so i have with some electrical tape i have it taped to the 10 meter pole and it's short of coming to the end there because this is a uh a 10 meter pole and this not being a 10 meter wire so it's probably a meter or two a meter and a half short of the top but it is a uh, 29 feet and uh there it is the 29 foot vertical really looking forward to this one i had a feeling uh it's gonna be a pretty productive day with this i've always wanted to try this length of wire in a vertical and uh i think this setup might be a winner let's go give it a shot Okay, for you technician guys, guess what? I just cut, cut it on and put it on 10 meters to check SWR, flat, one to one. So I uh, don't even need a tuner for this, for uh, for 10 meters. Let's see if we can make some contacts on 10 and then I'll go to the other bands and give them a shot. Yeah, I got you there, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, uh, Walter. I don't know if you're running still 5 watts today or maybe 20, let me know. Well, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, yeah, view what's up and down. Well, uh, five by three, I think. Five, three, kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar Fox, Fox, five, uh, Romeo Alpha Golf. Hey, thanks so much for coming back to the signal. You're a solid 5'9". I'm portable, 20 watts. 20 watts with a 29-foot vertical on a uh, DX Commander pole right beside the water here in my harbor. Okay, QSL, that's Vertical, 20 watts today, uh, Walter. Okay, so, uh, yeah, you are no uh, Q5. Thank you so much. 73. Uh, yes, I'm in Virginia. Uh, you're about a 5-3 here. Band's kind of up and down. A lot of QSB. QSL, 5-3 into Virginia. Texas, 
QSL, thank you for Parker County. Have a great day. 73. Uh, QSL, QSL, you're 5'8 into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. I'm portable as well with just 20 watts. Oh, Roger, Roger, you're doing nice with that 20 watts. Uh, thanks, Monty, and I appreciate it. 73, sir. Thank you, 73. B4OGO, you're 5'9 Fayette County, over. QSL, you're 5'9 Virginia, VA. What's your name? Virginia, Victor Alpha. Kilo four Oscar Golf Oscar. Uh, QSL, QSL, you're five nine into Norfolk, Virginia. I'm portable with just twenty watts here. Doing great, Greg. Doing great. Mount Portable across the street here, right on the uh, water with my little uh, G90, 20 watts. I've got a 29-foot uh, vertical wire in the air here and a counterpoise over kissing the salt water there today. Hi, QSL. You're 5'7", but the band's kind of dropping on me here. I'm Portable here in Norfolk, Virginia. Thank you so much for activating. Roger, Roger, thank you so much. You are 5757 into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. Very good. I, 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 I'm, I'm next to the seawall here, right by the water, but on land. Thank you, 73 to both of you. Great activation. Well, that was a fun antenna. Enjoyed that. Um, conditions here, kind of a crazy day. I mean, 10 is open, but um, as you started going up the bands, uh, a lot going on. Uh, you know, it's uh, midday here in the States, so there's a whole lot of people. It's a Saturday, so people are out uh, activating POTA. So 20 and uh, 15 were uh, you know, loaded with uh, POTA, and then there's like a Texas QSO party in some other states. So a lot of local stuff. It's kind of hard to get some DX. I got a little bit in there for sure. Um, the surprising thing, and what I tried on the whim there, uh, as you saw, uh, 40 meters. Hey, cool. I don't really, you know, with some of my antennas, I, I kind of aim for and design them for 20 through 10, and, you know, maybe six meters here and there, but uh, I kind of stay, you know, 20 and up. And I figured, you know what, well, this thing is, I know it's not quite a quarter wave, but it's, it's getting up there. It's a long wire to be vertical. Uh, let's give it a shot and, uh, and on 40. And there's, you know, a lot of people uh, right now that are activating. So I was able to get the, some, some good 40 meter, you know, POTA, uh, contacts and that type of thing so um it's a 29 a 29 foot vertical might be a, a great antenna to give you a multi-band uh you know capabilities from 10 to 40 meters if you're out operating portable and you can throw up that wire um uh SWR on the it, it, it never was above two to one. Maybe just kissing two to one here on some of the bands. The surprise was ten meters, man. That thing. Yeah, I don't. I think I'm going to bring this thing back out and do it on a day when ten meters is really on fire and, and, and put a hundred watts to it. Maybe I might have to use a little bit more wire. But um, yeah, that was really the, the surprise factor of the whole thing. So uh, enjoyed that. I really did. That was a fun little quick, uh, you know, cut a wire and put it in the air and see what would happen. So 29 feet. It's not probably not the most awesome. Uh, length I've used as far as random wires but worked well and a lot of it's probably conditions I mean who knows uh, maybe come out here in the gray line in the evenings or whatever this thing would be a would, would be a DX monster but uh, for for what I do with low power or whatever it worked and it worked well I was really uh, really pleased with it anyway hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like and subscribe I have a lot of fun doing this right here just experimenting with different lengths of wire playing playing radio and, uh, and having a good time with uh, mostly low power until next time I'm Walt K4 OGO 73 my friends little bonus at the end I'm on the other side of the harbor now 
that's across that water is where I always operate. And there's Carnival Magic, as you saw at the beginning of the video. And I'm here because in just a little while, my favorite band's going to be playing right there on that stage. The guy with the yellow guitar is my son, Alan. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. 73.